Hey folks, Engineer775 here. You know, a couple of years ago I did a video on this product. It's called the Stove Light. And it was pretty cool. It worked, but they've uh, made some major improvements. This is the Stove Light Pro. It is a thermal electric generator light. It uses a heat source to produce light, to produce electricity. So I'm going to kind of show you from this angle. So I got it sitting on a stove. This is a little tent stove that we've been showing off, which is an awesome thing, but that's a separate product. We just needed a heat source for the demo, and it was too hot in the house to fire up the wood stove today. So here we are outside. So this is a great combo if you had a tent and you went camping and you need some light and you have a very contained fire. It's uh, gasifying, so there's no smoke. You see no smoke coming out of the stack. So that's a lot of fun, but let's focus on the light. The light is, again, at the base, there's a thermoelectric generator module. It has a fan in it producing electricity and on the top is a battery. So we have a lithium ion battery up top and I'm going to show you the different modes and the things you can do. You can use it not only as a light source, but you can use it to charge devices. Anything you can plug in with micro USB, you can charge your iPhones, tablets, and you can have fun with that. You can also use a wall adapter to charge the battery and you can use uh, a solar charger to charge the battery. The only thing, I've been watching the stove temperature on this and I did get this stove to 815 and that would be a little extreme for the light. Um, we, the maximum temperature I believe is 660 degrees, but what a cool combo. So I wanted to film it before it got too dark outside so you could see. So let me show you the top of the stove light and show you some of the, the modes. So on the top of the stove, we have, of course, our Made in the USA sticker. We'll get these out of Vermont. There will be a link in the description. Um, you see this LED flashing. The battery is charging right now. you got a micro USB in, standard USB out, and the mode select button in the middle. So what I'm going to do is hit the mode select button, and you'll see the light got brighter, and then it turned it off. So I'm just turning the light on, first setting, and then the brightest bright setting. Any excess electricity is going into the battery for storage and then can be taken off. We have a handy dandy trivet that the stove, of course, is going to be hot and you want to handle it with gloves. And we have this trivet. So let me just see what our stove temperature is now. See, we're at 430 degrees, three, 370 kind of bounces around here. Four, 467 was the max. That's probably a really good temperature. I don't know if you can see the little fan spinning in there, the cooling fan. Again, it takes a differential in temperature to produce a DC voltage. So you got a really hot stove surface, and then you have ambient air, and the fan allows it to, to remove the heat. And as the heat passes through the semiconductor of the thermoelectric generator, it produces a DC voltage and amperage to run small things like LED lights. So that's pretty cool. But if you want to use it for other things, you can um, take it off the stove and uh, let's do that. So they came with this little trivet so you can set this thing on a table. I just got it outside. So you can set it here away from your heat source and then you can plug things in. Here's that come with it. Let me let me show it to you. This, the stove light trivet. So you can set it on your tables, nicely insulated. Um, and I did find out the hard way, well, I didn't read the manual, imagine that. Um, before the USB port can be used to charge your devices, it has this, the whole stove, the whole light has to come down to room temperature. So the other accessory that comes along with it, it's pretty cool, is a little solar charger. Now it's stuck to my tablet. A little solar panel, I've had it, I've been using it in my truck on my windshield. Elijah liked it. He was charging his cell phone the other day with it. Comes with a little suction, suction cups, a little solar or panel, and a battery in it. So right now we'll see that it is... Oh my goodness here. Let's see. Turn on your phone. There we go. So we are charging right now. 
because this was charged up in sitting in my truck. So that's probably a pretty cool accessory. It comes with it. You can use it for charging your devices. You can also plug it into a wall um, adapter and charge the battery that's in this unit. And right now you can see the LED blinking. That means it is charging the battery. It is also running the light and running the cooling fan. So thermal electric generators keep getting cooler and better, I should say hotter. And uh, if you're interested, I'll have a link to the description uh, here. Again, I had the Stove Light Basic before. This is Stove Light Pro, a little cooler by Teg Pro. And it'll be on our website, practicalpreppers.com. So check it out. And if you're interested, there'll be a link there for you to purchase it. So cool accessories to keep things charged plus just it's enjoyable and I really like this combo you can use any stove any heat source and I moved it back because our our plate on this is getting too hot this is one thing you do have to look for because I am at what am I at here I was at 815 I got it down it was uh, it's 680 660 is the max for the light so I put it back here and we're down in the 480 Nothing over, nothing in the 500. So it's pretty safe to operate the stove around five, I mean the light around 500. So, all right, let me crank that up a little bit. So nice and bright. Imagine that being inside of a tent. No smoke, lots of light, lots of warmth, and uh, you can cook your entire dinner. And you can see what you're doing with the stove light helping you. And again, you take, it doesn't have to be on the stove. Just take it off the stove. Definitely use a glove after it's been on the stove for a long time. Pardon me. And uh, it's not that hot. So you set it on your trivet. And we'll just let it sit there for a while and see how long we have light for. All right, we'll let it cool down. I want it to cool down anyway. It's charged the battery enough for I can see how long it takes to get to room temperature before I can start charging a device. There's some USB lights, too, that are cool. You could plug right in. I have one. I didn't bring it out here, but you could plug right into the top of that. You'd have extended light, light from the heat source and then light from the electrical source for hours to get all the work done you need to in your tent. The tablet lit up. She cooled down to room temperature, and she is charging. So I know that it works. Let's go back to the home screen on here so you can see that it is... Can you see? Can you see? That is... Looks pretty blurry to me. Very blurry. Come on, camera. Focus. Making a liar out of me. But she is charging. Charging off of heat. Hey. So, if you have to... No, if you just can't camp primitively and you got to have your technologies just surrounding, surrounded by tablets and phones then the stove light pro is for you because you can have light to do what you need to get done and then charge your devices and there you have it so all right i think that'll conclude this product review for stove light made by teg pro and uh, check out uh, the links to practicalpreppers.com if you'd like to purchase one and if you have any questions send me an email at info at practicalpreppers.com or you can check us out on Facebook as well. All right, take care.